my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm here today to try and wear this Glam Glow Super Magnifying 6 Acid Clarifying Primer the whole day. And if you want to see my review and thoughts about this product, then please keep on watching. Okay, before I start, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're interested to see more of my videos. That would mean a lot to me if you subscribe. And I haven't seen many of these reviews or reviews of this product. And I haven't seen big YouTubers, you know, the, the YouTubers with a couple of million subscribers and maybe just under a million subscribers trying this or using it in their videos. So I thought today, or well, maybe I just missed, maybe I don't I don't follow all of the YouTubers, but you want, you know where I want to come with this discussion. I really want to try this. This was on my wish list for months since it launched. And it was 50% off on a Swedish website Kicks, and of course I couldn't resist. Yes, I have my fingerprints all over it. I haven't tried it, I did open it to see it and see how it looks inside. That's the mirror you can see here, the spatula. I haven't touched it or anything inside. And it looks like a mask, it looks great. Smells very interesting. So I'm going to try this today and wear it all day. It's actually around 10 in 10 a.m. And I'm going out today. I'm going to be in the sun all day. And I'm just going to put some fast makeup on my skin. I'm going to also prep my skin. And when I apply makeup, I won't actually go in details. I will speed up the process. process and you'll be able to see me using the product, but I will try to remember to list everything down below. So I'm just going with my skincare uh, while I'm talking. And I know there are a couple of you that watch just this video but are not subscribed. So I would appreciate if you subscribe, if you want honest opinions of a working mom around her 30s, 40s. I'm actually 36 years old and you want to see someone testing and be really honest with those products and when I think about it then please subscribe and I'm just going to use some mascara I'm not going to use any uh, oh maybe I should use an eyeshadow of course I'm going to use an eyeshadow why do I say I'm not going to I'm going to also go in with Ole Hanikson the new face cream I really like this cream this is also going to uh, you know, help you with the oily skin. I do have oily teas on. And actually, I feel like right now, these couple of months, I've been having oily skin everywhere. Not only in my teeth zone, but my skin is changing. I really try to take care of it, but sometimes skin does what skin wants. So that's it. I'm going to just prime my eyes. I'm not going to do into so many details when I'm going in with Urban Decay. I just don't like this packaging though. I, sometimes I squeeze out the product and then put it on this spatula because I feel like nothing comes out. Set everything and I'm going to wear it the whole day and I'll tell you what I think about it after wearing it. Well, I just use some of this powder to, to set. I do set my Face or eyeshadow primer. So, time for the face primer. First, some coffee. Okay, so let's go in. Let's open this spatula. I always lose these. I get them in a couple of creams and other products, but I always use them. Put them in a very good place and still use them. But this is cute. I know how much to apply, but let's just go in. Ooh. This feels interesting. Kind of reminds me of that puffy elf primer. Smells a little bit minty. Feels creamy. It feels like a cream that's applied. Ooh, it feels cooling on the skin. It feels like cream. Like a thicker face cream or face moisturizer. 
goes on very nice. Let me look at the mirror. Hmm. I still can see my pores. They are not less visible. It feels... I do need to clean my face though. But I do feel like it... It feels very nice. It feels light. Uh, but we'll see how it's going to wear the whole day. This says... Uh, instant mattifying. Did it mattify? I still... Uh, maybe a little bit. I can still see some glow, but it did mattify a little bit. Minimize the look of the pores. Can't see that right now, but maybe when I apply my makeup. And works to clarify skin with a super fix acid blend for an always sexy, never shiny, clear complexion. Infused with pore purifying charcoal, this lightweight primer balm applies clear, creating a silky, smooth, blurred base it, and flawless. It does feel very soft. I can't say it's blurred. It, it is lightweight. Even face for flawless, even face makeup application while providing all day oil and shine control. The non acne genetic formula forms a comfortable, breathable barrier that helps keep dirt, oil, uh, debris, and makeup from chlorine pores for clearer, clearer glowing skin with or without makeup. And it says use the spatula, scoop a pure sized amount of the primer, just like I did, massage between fingers, just a, like I did. To, apply and massage evenly onto the face and use it as a last step before makeup so i did that i mean it feels very nice it feels very light i do like how it feels i can't say it blur blurred my pores i don't feel like it did it mattify maybe a little bit but we'll see maybe we'll be shocked i'm going to go in with my sheer glam foundation i really like this foundation and this is in shell shade i've been using this for a couple of weeks and i know how it actually looks on my face so that's why i'm going to go with two pumps i think this is the techniques sponge not really sure i saw so let's blend or apply oh it goes on very nice the foundation. I did find that this foundation doesn't really work with all of my primers, so it's kind of interesting to see how it's going to go in with this. Hey, Mr. Bully, won't you just see right through me? On the dying days when I ask for forgiveness or my soul. Hey, Mr. Bully, what you Okay, so it looks really, really good. This foundation looks really good right now on top of this primer. It's still, this foundation looks like I have makeup on and this is the whole point. I didn't want that fresh, nice makeup look because I do get oily during the day using this foundation. I could go with a moisturizer, light uh, moisturizer, but I didn't want to do that because I did want to see the, um, how it looks actually with the foundation that I know it doesn't work with all of the primers. It looks really, really, really good. It even, it looks even, it looks healthy. Maybe the light reflects on my face. I do look uh, mattified, but still a little bit natural glow, which is kind of good. I mean, I'm 36, I don't want to be like matte, matte. That doesn't look good, but it still looks very nice. Then I'm going to go in with my Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealer from Joa Beauty. This is in GDC 020 20 shade. And this I got from my friend Valerie in our box swap. And Valerie, if you watch this video, please send me more of this concealer in this shade. This is like... Uh, bright pink shade but it looks so so good on my skin i love it this is 020 i love it i love this concealer and this is not uh, available in sweden so that's what i want valerie to send more of this 
I continue grabbing. I do have plenty of concealer that I like, but I, for some reason, not for some reason, I know what reason, but I always grab for, for this. I do have neutral undertone. Uh, on my skin, but sometimes the pink concealer looks better. Not the pink foundation. Oh my god, I tried with pink undertone, I look so crazy. But the, except that Pure Cosmetics, this Val Valerie sent me one of the box swaps. Look how good this concealer looks. Amazing. Medium coverage, brightens my skin, and it looks awesome. I love it. So I'm going to fast speed this or speed up this part of the video but I will be here at the end Mr. Bully, won't you just see right through me On the dying days when I ask for forgiveness Oh my soul Hey Mr. Bully, what you think when you push me Out of my own head where everything makes sense Breathing in the lies that keep me up from the truth that keeps me up.
Okay guys, so this is the final look. Now I try to clean up my lid because I get did got some mascara on it. But this is my orange look. These nails kind of inspire me to wear more orange and I love orange color. So this is the final look. Now I'm going to fix my hair after filming this part of the video. But so far I really like how it looks on my skin. My skin looks uh, very smooth and I actually have to say it did mattify and also did minimize my pores. Now after applying foundation and the rest of the makeup I can actually see I didn't set anything with the powder so I'm going to use a little bit of powder to set it but my uh, pores are less visible, more smooth. Uh, they are there, they are not gone but they are definitely less uh, visible and the foundation looks really really good on my face so I'm going to go in and use this powder. This is the airbrush flawless. I'm almost out. So I'm just going to set my face, not the whole face, but just a little bit. So, and we'll see. I'll try, I do have blotting powders and everything, but I try, I'll try not to use them today. Uh, I'm stupid. The only thing, that, the most important thing that I should have on my face that I forgot today is actually my SPF. So I do regret it, but I'll try to stay out from sun directly with my face, maybe with my legs, just put some sun on there. But that's it. My neighbors are renovating, so it sounds, hope you can't hear it, but they do make sounds. I said it wrong, but this is the look. Very easy, very natural. Love this palette. Uh, the palette I used. I will put, sorry. Um, this this is the Coledos. I think I pronounce it right. Uh, this is the Escape Pod. Very nice summery palette. Love it. Love it. Love it. So this is it. Okay, guys. It's around ten thirty, and I will go with my day, and I check in later today to tell you how it went so see you soon hi guys oh my god i just came back home and my hair looks like a mess oh my god look at this this is a mess but who cares it's very windy outside and we are here not about my hair we are here for the face now i haven't touched up at all it's been very very hot today and i'll be around the water and uh, windy and hot at the same time so let's see i didn't touch up i didn't do anything the makeup is still on i think it went off just a little bit here not all the way but just a little bit and it's because i've been touching myself like having my hand over there uh but it's makeup looks really really good it looks very i do look shiny and a little bit oily but not as i would do usually and I really like it I really like how my pores look I really like how everything looks smoother than it looked when I first applied the makeup so I really really like this primer I'll definitely continue wearing it I forgot to close it I really really like it my under eyes are so dry I don't know if you can see everything is oily except my under eyes always like that always like that but guys that was everything I just want to show you it's almost 6 p.m. and I've been having this on seven hours seven and seven hours 30 minutes and this is how my face looks so I'm very very happy with the primer really like it and uh, I think I can trust it now I think I trust it so guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know down below if you tried this primer, what do you think about it? And see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.